Hello and welcome to the unboxing of the LXT I don't know it, version of um, well, the LXT edition of WWE 2K17. I, I just thought this was a really nice collection, that's so why I decided to get it. So I thought I'd unbox it to, because I know it's like it's quite hard, it's really quite apparently quite hard to get hold of. And so it, I don't know if you can read that very well. It's not like it's very blurry actually on the box. Um, it tells you what's included inside so you get um the game wwe 2k17 um you get the nxt enhancement or whatever enhancement pack which features um playable nxt superstars shinsuke nakamura nia jackson apollo cruz everybody i think is going to get that at some point but if you want to get it now you've got to get this version but apparently it's uh, pretty much sold out everywhere which is understandable because there's some great content in here um, you get in exclusive canvas to canvas lith lithograph or autograph by NXT superstar Shinsuke Nakamura. That's the poster, I believe. We'll have a look in a sec, I'm sure. Um, you get one tops NXT London matte relic, includes a piece of authentic ring canvas. That's, I think, a trading card and it's signed by uh, apparently what I understood it was. Signed by the superstar that you get as like a few NXT people, but I think this goes back to when like Becky Lynch and all that were in NXT, I think. Um be cool if it is. Um and then you get obviously um you get the Goldberg pre-order. It sort of shows you there that it's very, very shiny because I'm doing it on my laptop again. But yeah, it shows you all your content there. Oh, and I don't think it even says that you get a Finn Balor figure. But that's why the box is so big. Apparently this is a collectible, not a toy for use by children. Um, so we're going to open it now. I hate opening these boxes. If I had my way, I really would not open this. I very rarely do buy um, collector's editions of games. I'm like a huge fan of WWE, so um, I thought it was a good thing to get. Um, so I've got the NX, uh, not the NXT, yeah, I've got the 2K16 special edition as well. I haven't really sort of touched the stuff inside it, I just wanted the game, but I just like the little pop vinyl figure that you've got of um, Stone Cold. So that's, that's the cellophane. Uh, I'm going to open the box now. I hate opening things in case you break it. It's got to be done. That's not too bad to open, actually. It's really not too hard. Well, I'm saying this, I'm actually like opening it. So there's the game game sign if I can get it out. Really wedged in there actually. There we go. So there's the oh there's the um, NXT code. Um uh, showing Shinsuke Nakamura and Nia Jax and Apollo Cruz. That was one of the main reasons I got it to be honest, because I always like to have the extra character, the NXT characters and all the extra DLC. Um, there's the actual game cover with um, Brock Lesnar. I really don't get why he is on the cover. I just feel those people look as more deserving of the cover this year. Um, and it shows you that you get the Goldberg um, DLC, which I thought was quite cool because I know he's quite. A, everybody likes Goldberg. Um, and there's the back cover of it. I don't know if you can see that. Now. See, why can't Dean Ambrose be on the cover? That shows Brie Bella in the screenshot. Brock Lesnar and AJ Styles, because it's the first game he's in. And it just explains what you get in the game, so it's um, that. That's pretty much it on that. Um, here's the box. So if this is what I think this is, this is not even going to come out of the box ever. Oh, that is so cool. That is never, ever, ever, in the words of Chris Jericho, coming out of the box. So that's the Finn Balor statue. That is really, really well designed. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with that. That is seriously not coming out of the box. Honestly, I'm not like the hugest Finn Balor fan, but I must admit he is a mate. He's like really brilliant at what he does. Um, but yeah, something I just cannot see me ever opening or getting rid of. That's really, really cool. So yeah, that's a really nice collectible if you're a huge um, Finn Balor fan. Really worth the money. That's really, really well done. Very impressed with that. 
Um, so that's the figure. I hope there's nothing inside it because I really don't want to open that unless I have to open it. I really hope not. But by the look of it, it looks like it's all in the actual box still. Ah, oh, it's the Shinsuke. I can't even say his name. Shinsuke Nakamura. I hope I am saying that right. Um, that is proper legitimately signed as well. You can still see the pen stain on it. That is cool. But the, well, you know when, like when you some, I don't know if you um, when you use one of those sharpie type pens, the markers. They've always got like that purpley tint. It's still got that on there, so that's proper legit. But let's try and get a picture frame and stick that in because that's really cool. I must admit, I'm not like I'm not saying I hate the guy or anything. I don't really. He's, I sort of don't know enough about him, but he's very, very impressive in what he does, and I just think that's something really cool to keep. It's, it's kind of annoying, like, I've got that, and there's probably, like, a bigger Shinsuke Nakamura fan that sort of would love that, and I feel really bad. But, I mean, as I said, he's only just sort of begun his journey in NXT. I mean, that theme of his, like, everybody gets behind that, is so amazing. <laughs> and then the final item. Not the person I would have hoped to have got with that, but we'll go with it. Um, so I've got the trading card. I've got Big Cass, or Colin Cassidy, it says on there. Um, not the person I would hope for. I'm not the biggest fan of his, again. But um, it's a cool thing to have. I would have preferred um, somebody else. But beggars cannot be choosers, as they say. But that's that's um, something I'll definitely keep hold of. Um, because the ring canvas is black. I don't really remember London Takeover, to be honest. But... What I love about it, because obviously I'm from the United Kingdom, and it's sort of the time they had that, so that's got more meaning to me because of that. I know that sounds a bit silly, but it's kind of cool to have that. I definitely will keep of that, keep hold of that, because that's something really. Um, it says authentic matte relic, but I don't know. I just don't. I don't know if you can really see that there. I don't remember it having a black matte, but I'm trying to think when it was. Wasn't that long ago from Fresh, but that's really, really cool. It's quite thick as well. And yeah, that's pretty much that, really. Uh, there's nothing else inside. I'm guessing the Goldberg did, um, which is the natural game. But that is literally everything that came out of it. Um, so it's a really nice box as well, actually. It's got like, um, a lot of NXT people from past and present, like most of the lot of the people that are now on SmackDown and Raw. So yeah, just um, I'll just review everything as it goes for you. So um, there's the signed card from Shinsuke Nakamura, which is really cool, as I said, because it's it's proper legitly signed because the um, Pen mark is staying still there. That's really, really cool. I really like that. Um, there's the card again. Colin Cassidy or Big Cass. Um, and the best piece by far is the Finn Balor figure. That's just, um, I can't get over how amazing that is. It's just so, so detailed. They've got everything about him spot on. It's his demon attire as well. That's what makes it look so cool. They've really done a good job on that. There we go. And the um, NXT um, DLC card. And probably the second best piece is the actual game. But yeah, that's, that's really, I was sort of contemplating buying that. And I'm kind of glad I have now seen that figure. Because that figure is absolutely amazing. I just really cannot get over that. And, but yeah, I don't I don't think you can get hold of it though. I don't know if there's any places that's still doing it. But if you were sort of if in an hour in, I would say definitely get it. Because it's amazing. I mean, I, I think it was, um, I can't even remember how much I paid for it. I think like 60 something. But definitely one of the best pre-order bonuses they've ever done, by far. I mean, last year's was good because you got the season pass 
with it. And I thought that was really good that you got the season pass. But this is so much better because you get this figure. I mean, I like my Stone Cold Top Final figure, but that is much, much better. And so that's going to conclude the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, any questions, feel free to leave them. Um, and thank you very much for watching.